Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in our Empire Divided Palmyra series. So um, I'm starting to think that I can probably move some of these armies away from Agrigentum and Carthage. We are about to... Hang on, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, we're one turn away from winning this siege. And we are... I mean, these armies are probably going to be the ones that I can use, or at least one of them is probably going to be the one that I can use to start pushing into the Iberian Peninsula. So I'm going to go ahead and move this army from Carthage to Cartennis. We'll leave this army in Agrigentum. The defenders of Tadmor is Vabalathus's army. So actually, you know what? Let's put him in Syracuse. When Vabalathus heals up, we'll give him control of that army again. And he's going to help hold um, Sicily against anything that Tetricus might try and throw at us. Meanwhile, Zenobia is down here. Let me actually take a quick look at what I can do. Yeah, see, I can hit these guys right now. How healed are they? They're... Yeah, I can hit them right now and just end this. I'm going to auto-resolve this, as satisfying as it would be to watch her just crush these guys. We just saw that great military victory in Meroe. And we still have some battles to fight against the Axum coming up. But... Let's go ahead and finish that army off. Meanwhile, let's see what this spy can do. We're going to move her down towards Axum. The city of Axum. Okay, so they don't know she's here. We did not need an additional army down there anymore. She has got this well in hand. This army here is not... <laughs> the old men of the desert is not strong enough to do anything on its own, so I'm not going to worry about them. They do have this army to the south, the Beasts of Burden. They're not a threat either. And we should... I think I want to go ahead and keep recruiting into this army a little bit, because it's going to reduce my income. But again, my income is going to be going upward before long, so... Let's start... Let's do some Palmyrie and Legionaries. And that might be all I'm able to recruit this turn. Yes, it is. What do you wish of me? So now I guess we'll have a look around. Yeah, let's go ahead and promote that uh, Cohortes Urbane. Or upgrade that Cohortes Urbane. Pergamum, uh, another library might be good for an extra research rate. Yeah, let's do that. I'm being a little greedy with libraries, but that's for a good cause. Certainly. All right, and God, I really want to go ahead and just take the next city here, but before I get too greedy, I want to let this army heal up, and then I want to see if I can go down and take Rutubus. What I may also do is form a new navy, if I can afford it, which is questionable. Let me take Corallus and see how that affects my income. One thing at a time. But a new navy might help us lock down the tip of Africa here, the, the far... Well, it's not, it's not a tip, but... Ooh, interesting. So, all right, this is the this is this battle resolving itself. Um, we could auto resolve it, or we can fight it. This is a pretty significant battle, so I guess I'll fight it. This is. Wait. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean there's no reinforcements? I have an entire army outside the gates reinforced. Okay, fine. In that case, we are going to auto resolve, because the game is being ridiculous. It wasn't letting us have our reinforcements that are right outside the city. So, sorry, not going to deal with that. <laughs> so we've got the city of Corallus. Of course the Maori want a uh, treaty. Uh, settlement captured Corallus. Yep, let's go ahead and occupy it. Quintus Aurelius Ebutianus has leveled up. And then there's been some uh, arson committed in Meroe. The accused party has lost some influence. Oh, yes, we had a riot in the capital last episode and is now on worse terms with you. The other party seemed to approve of your direct approach. All right, so Corallus is ours and our income is better. So let's go ahead and start converting this. You know what? I think I'd rather have Corallus be a harbor settlement. Bring me some, bring me some gold. And yeah, we're not going to recruit here, so let's do away with that. I can understand why they had recruitment set up, but we're not going to worry about that. Let's do a water tank so there's no Latin influence here. And then, I suppose... Yeah, see, let's go ahead and do a wine trader, because I, I want to have this be... Let's do a wine trader and a slave trader. Here. Let this be an income center. Alright, and then this admiral leveled up. So we need to give him a basic admiral skill. So, plus 8 campaign map movement range, win admiral. So, what I can do is go ahead and have him... Ooh, hello. 
tell you what, let's move him back to Carthage. And we need to let that navy heal up. And we're going to use that navy over here in a bit. Okay, so these guys are trying to come near Saiga with this army, which is adorable, really. I'm going to move this army into, into position so they can't do that. And let me look into... Yeah, I'm going to move this army down here and put him in ambush stance. We might lose Tingus. But that if they if they send an army down, that's just one more army for me to crush. They don't know that I'm here. I'm in ambush stance, so I can sneak right back and take that city from them. All right, now Zenobia could hit these guys, but they're not strong enough to take Meroe on their own. Let's repair that. Yeah, we need to we need to let that army heal for a little bit longer. This army is pretty strong, so let's go ahead and poison their provisions. Excellent. That's what I wanted to see. Her poisoning ability is particularly potent. You know what? Let me do the same thing here with Zenobia. I'm going to put her in an ambush position. And if they're dumb enough to try and attack the city, then let them try. I don't think any army would succeed. I think they would pretty much break against its walls. Okay, can't do anything with this army right now, but we need to recruit more for them probably next turn. I could also bring this navy in. We're not at war with anyone over here right now. This has been kind of in, in a defensive position for a while, but I could bring this navy in to help mop up in this area. It would leave these cities rather undefended, though. There is an army up here that can help. Mm, see, now I'm tempted. But having that navy there might be one of the only reasons the Marco Manny are not... Yeah, see, that might be one of the only reasons that they're not at war with me. Also, we are one turn away from that diplomacy boost with Eastern factions, so that might help us with the Sassanids. Speaking of that... Let's go ahead and send another diplomat to see them, and we'll end the turn. Because that plus 25 is not going to put us into a positive range with them. And we will need to deal with assassinants before long. Okay, so they withdrew from their attempted attack there. Alright, doesn't appear that the... Oh, they're moving on Ptolemaeus their own. That was an incredibly stupid mistake. You have completed a technological advancement, giving you an advantage over your rivals. The diplomat has returned, accompanied by a famous bard. Increased public order in all your provinces. Very good. Babalathus has healed up. Zenobia, this lady has shown unfaltering devotion to Rome. She has conquered many of its enemies in battles. We honor her and celebrate her glorious victories. Dang, Skippy. So, I'm going to go ahead and take Axum. They might take Ptolemy's throne, but... Let's take the last of their cities from them. They take another one from me. Oh, nope. That counted as... Really? How's that? Okay, cool. Well, that's the defeat of them. I can go ahead and convert this stuff. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Yeah, let's do away with that entirely. Cohortes Urbane there. I don't want to have this be a recruiting center, I don't think. I would rather have this be a center of wealth. So let's have an enameler down here. Yeah, it's actually... See, we've got a trench mine here, so it makes perfect sense. And we are definitely... Oh, we don't have the money to break that down. If I do that first, we do. So we're going to break down that um, that Christian community. Wow. All right, so the Axum are, no, are gone. That actually was the end of them. I was not expecting that, but... Let's go ahead and bring this spy up. She is needed elsewhere, for sure. Okay, now, for some reason, they withdrew their forces that were approaching Saiga, rather than trying to move farther along. And I think I might be in range of Rutubus now, or getting close. Let's see. I think I can hop across the bridge here and still be in ambush position. Yep. So Rutubus is about to be ours. I'll keep you in Saiga. Keep you in Corallus. 
you, yeah, you just need to stay in Carthage for now. That's your command. And you need to be replaced by Vabalathus. We'll have him use Imperial Cataphracts. Okay, technology-wise, what were we working on? This tier, right? Yeah. So this would give us, oh yeah, in five turns this will help us a lot, plus additional wealth from culture in all regions when we finish this tier. So, good. Yeah, we'll leave that navy there for now. The one that's healing up in Carthage we will use. Still need to recruit more into this army, because, I mean, our economy, just like I thought it would, is getting better. So we need to build up that army in Mios Hormos. As soon as possible. Okay, we've had a spy from the Marcomanni land, so they might be thinking about starting something with us soon. My Lord, we the Maori still want a peace treaty. Ooh, successful ambush. Haven't had this in a while. Do we fight them? I mean, it would be a quick ambush. It would be over in a flash. Let's do it. We haven't had a good ambush since the opening episodes of the series, but they tried to send an army up to the city that we took, and now they're regretting their life decisions, or rather, they are about to. All things atrocious and shameless flock from all parts to Rome. Tacitus, Roman historian. So, I have one deployable. I'm not going to worry about my artillery, especially because it's raining. Oh man, this is going to be a slaughter. We have hills on either side of them. All right, so their general is here. Let's have our general lined up here. We want our shot cap to hit him with... Oh no, not, not you guys. You come back here. We want our shot cap to hit him with everything they've got. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'll have some shot cav take out these uh, Numidian cap uh, missile cavalry, and then the rest of them can be confronted by these guys. And we'll have one cavalry unit in the back to take care of these, these archers relatively quickly. Elite archers. Now, I think what I want to do, too... Let's keep them in skirmish mode, but I'm going to have my archers do a little bit of damage to the units in the middle before I charge any units in to fight them. Because I think I can do a lot of damage with a couple of opening rounds before these units have a chance to go anywhere. I can tear up their cavalry, for instance, I can tear up their spearmen, and then we'll bring our units in. So, let's see. we got spearmen here. Spearmen there. Hmm. I may actually have more of my... I might have the, the cavalry really focus on those archers rather than charging in anywhere else. And we'll have our archers focus on taking out the um, cavalry horsemen because they won't be very well defended. And done. All right, so start, pause. All right, let's give the initial orders. Shot cav right in. We're going to use a war cry on that general, which hopefully that will trigger as soon as the game lets up, or as soon as the pause lets up. And let's see if we can order my archers to just fire indiscriminately on these horsemen. Okay, yeah. Let's let's see how this goes. Initial shots have been fired. Oh, the general didn't He did his war cry and not anything else. Archers have torn up the missile cavalry. All right, we're going to have to charge down.
interesting that they're just standing there. I would expect them to be riding around trying to do stuff from a distance, but instead they're just letting the archers completely slaughter them. So we had one shot cab that didn't do too well because they got hit by some of the spearmen, but everyone else has pretty much survived. Yep, we've got them. They are already on the run. Completely broken. Let's go ahead and... Let's see if there's anyone that we need to uh, mop up. I don't think there really is. Yeah, there's a few units that are trying to get away, so let's take care of them. Just want to make sure there's nothing left of this faction. Try and make relatively quick work of them. Wait, what was that? Did... Did some of the... Sp did some of the swordsmen just throw... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they just took out some of my cavalry. Good job, guys. We won the battle, and you, you still have friendly fire. It's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and quit the battle. <laughs> Pretty decisive victory. 54 men lost. They lost 842. Oh, happy Rome, born when I was consul. Cicero, Roman lawyer and statesman. Okay, so the game still gave them a few <laughs> troops. All right, we've got some missing supplies in Syria. So less food. Servius Scribonius <laughs> Blasus. Uh, we've had, we have some unrest in Africa. Angry crowds have started forming around the city, further disrupting the civil order. All right. So Africa is... I think that's Carthage, right? Hmm, yeah, how can we reduce banditry here? Wow, that's an interesting new effect. I haven't dealt with that before, so we're going to have to find ways to reduce banditry. Possibly just by having armies positioned there, I'm not sure. But for now, let's go ahead and hit Rotubus. Oh, hi. Still going to take it. And uh, let's just do a balance stance, attack. This, sh this should be the end of this faction. There we go. Rutubus has fallen. Oh, good. So this is going to give us snail vats. And sure, we'll let you stay as a harbor. Our income is looking quite nice now. Saiga, hmm, hang on. I'm not going to invest any money in Tingus until I get the army back up there, but I will go ahead and do a lot of fundum here. No, this is not going to be... You know, let's do a Vigiles Urbani. Yeah, not going to spend any money on, on Tingus until I know I've got it secured. Okay, now, see, this army can go ahead and start moving up into this area. I could, actually... See, we could put them back on our heels, right on, on their heels right now, if I moved. But no, 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 no. We're going to leave you here. We're, and this army is going to come back up and move up into this area. That way we have a defensive front. Because we they were trying to sail to sides, not, or side not too long ago. Um, that is the city of side. Right, you know, Saiga. They were trying to they were trying to sail there not too long ago, so we're gonna try and play it safe a little bit. Not make any unnecessary risks. Cause I do that enough in other games. Alright, let's go ahead and do some more Missile Trieris. And I guess one more fire ship. So that navy's built out. Alright, Babalathus. Technically, I could go ahead and start marching up on the Italian peninsula. I could put, start putting pressure on Rome with the prince. We could we could be controlling the southern tip of Italy right now. If we really wanted to kick the kick the bear, so to speak, and piss off Tetricus. You know what? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's let's let the prince be ambitious. He's gonna he's gonna get an ambush stance. 
Meanwhile, we need to go ahead and take Illyria. Can't quite do it in one move here, but I will go ahead and move this army up and put them in ambush stance. I don't think Corrales is in danger of falling. I will need to build something here, so let's see. Let's go ahead and order that upgrade. Only take two turns. And I said I wanted something... I want this to be a center of wealth, so let's build a suburbia there. Might lead to banditry problems until we maybe can research something that'll help with that, but... Okay, Zenobia can now join the front lines. So, hmm, let's see. What do we do? I mean, we, we have a, a bonus in diplomacy. I need to look into this with um, the Sassanids. Let's, yeah. Tell you what, let's move Zenobia up to Aelia Capitolina. Let's give that order, because she's going to move that direction regardless. But now let's go to diplomacy and see how the Sassanids feel about us. Speak, my friend. And burden yourself of diplomacy. And let... Okay. I don't know. Go for the Sassanids next or go for Rome? I kind of, like I mentioned a few episodes ago, I kind of want to at least neuter the Sassanids a little bit. Maybe take away some of their territory, make them a little bit less of a threat. Armenia controls a good amount of territory. I feel like... That would put us in a really good position to take on the Marco Manny. Oh wait, no, Tetricus controls that territory, don't they? Wait a minute, who controls that? Owner unknown. Oh, this is... We haven't met this faction yet. But the Marco Manny are up here. Okay, there they are. So I don't know who this faction is, but... I don't know. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to move on Rome with the Prince. Because that'll help us income-wise. We'll leave that army there. That army there. We talked about that. Yep. Yep. You're in Ephesus. Tell you what, move up to... Uh, Pergamum, please. Oh, Pergamum is not a, a harbor city. Never mind, don't do that. Come back to Ephesus next turn. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and we do need to continue building up this army, so let's do that. You need some swordsmen now, which means I need to send you over to the neighboring province. Oh, good. We can get you there in one turn. We can't recruit until next turn, but that's a good step in the right direction. Yeah, we are totally going to have... And we have room for more armies, too. I could even... There's potential for me to be able to train a new one. All right, that spy is on her way up. Yeah, we definitely want her over here. Ayla Buteo is going to take a while to get there, but we'll leave you here. You've been leveling up for a while. And we have an army still in Petra. That's one of our defensive armies against the Sassanids, and we have this army in Palmyra as well. Okay, well, let's take a look around. Now that Tingus... Um, still not going to spend any money on it yet, but Saiga I will. Let's see, let's make that a farming settlement. I don't want a dry dock here. I don't think it's necessary. I think I'd rather have a fishing port so we have additional food for this province. Shrine of... Uh, the Altar of Nabu would give us additional research points here. Let's do that. Okay, any other upgrades I can do? Pergamum? Yeah, there is one, actually. Let's do that. Okay. Let's end the turn, and I might end the episode after this next one. Let's see what kind of moves the AI makes. Tetricus is thinking about something. That's a... I don't know if that army's large enough to attack Corrales, but... All right, the Sassanids have some agents moving around. They look like they might be trying to take Corrales from me, but I'm about to take... Alilia from them. Ooh. So are these guys. This is the Lusitanians, I think? Triumph! Okay, we've had we have some missing supplies in Sicily. Decimus Portius Ebutianus has reached maximum level. Good for him. No, not Alalia, Illyria. At your command. Yep, it's mine. It is mine, and this might eliminate that faction entirely. Let's take an aggressive stance. Yep, 
The Roman pretenders has gone interesting. So when you kill off their armies, they're completely dead too. All right, well, surprising. Let's go ahead and do a fishing port. We're going to need food here. And I suppose a religious gathering and maybe, yeah, Procurator's Villa. Absolutely. We're going to need to maintain order here. And then we'll have a market settlement. Let's see, we need to recruit for this army. So, some additional elephants, and then those... Hang on. Well, maybe not elephants, because we have the chariots here, so... Maybe this can be the... Yeah, let's do... Let's have three onagers, and then we'll have the... Auxiliary Libyan Infantry, and I'm going to go ahead and spend all that money. I'm just so that that's queued up. I don't, I haven't typically done that this series, but I'm going to do that in this case. Just makes sense, I think. Ready for orders. Ready for every hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Okay, well, let me go ahead and stop this episode here. In the next one, um, it looks like these guys are still thinking about what they can do. Tell you what, let me move you back to Cartenis just so that they don't get any stupid ideas. They're still thinking about what cities they can take from me, but as soon as we have a second army up in this region, and we'll soon have a third, Iberia should start falling pretty rapidly. We'll fight a few of those battles, but I kind of want to blaze through there like wildfire, so we'll do some auto-resolving as well. Meanwhile, um, the prince is in position. He can hit Cosentia right now, and um, yeah, let's actually go ahead and give that order. There is an army of Tetricus nearby. This is our first time engaging Tetricus directly in battle. I will go ahead and save this one here. And we'll fight this battle to kick off the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.